A pharmacy technician named Richard Allen, once described as a normal guy, has been arrested in connection with the 2017 murders of two Indiana girls. Now, news details about Allen's past are emerging. Richard Allen, 50, is being held in connection with the 2017 murders of two teens, Abby Williams, 13, and Liberty Libby German, 14, a crime commonly known as the Delphi murders. The girls went missing on February 13, 2017, and their bodies were found near Monon High Bridge in the Deer Creek area. Indiana State Police arrested Allen on October 26, 2022, after seizing his car and searching his home in a fire pit in his yard. He appeared before a judge on October 28, 2022, where he was booked into the Carroll County Jail before being transferred to another facility for his own safety. Allen has pleaded not guilty. It's not clear how long officials may have been investigating Allen because he was never publicly named as a suspect. It is also unclear if Allen was connected to Ron Logan, owner of the property where the girls were found. Logan, who died in January 2022, reportedly gave a false alibi to police about where he was the day of the murders. Richard Allen seemed to live what appeared to be a regular life. He was married with a child and worked a steady job. Records show that Richard Allen is a licensed pharmacy technician and that he worked in a CVS in Delphi. Allen's wife is Kathy Allen, and they have a daughter, Brittany, 28, according to the Daily Mail. The family lives in a residential neighborhood just half a mile from Delphi Community Middle School, where Williams and German attended classes, and two and a half miles from Monon High Bridge. In 2018, Kathy shared a photo of Brittany on the Monon Bridge on Facebook, although it is unclear when the photo was taken or who took it. A more recent and somewhat disturbing photo from December 2021 emerged online that showed Richard with what appears to be a police sketch of the suspected killer. Many residents were surprised to know that Allen worked and lived around them for years, and they never knew or even suspected that he could have a criminal past. Officials said that Allen was essentially hiding in plain sight, and while the Williams and German family didn't know him personally, they probably came into contact with him at one time or another. Some residents reportedly saw Richard and Kathy around town, sometimes dining out. Brick-and-mortar pub manager Chandler Underhill told the Indiana Fox affiliate WXIN that Allen had contact with Delphi residents and that he even recognized Allen as a frequent customer in his pub. Underhill told the news affiliate that Allen wouldn't say much when he talked. Underhill also explained that when he went into the CVS where Allen worked, Allen would ask him if he needed help. Underhill went on to add, Richard Allen seemed just like a normal guy that I've seen for the last couple of years, not really thinking anything. I think we're all still in a little bit of disbelief. Yeah, that we, uh, we talk to this person uh, sometimes on a daily basis. Prior to his arrest on Monday, Allen has what WRTV refers to as a limited criminal history that consists of two speeding tickets and a seatbelt violation from 2003. He reportedly moved to the small community of Delphi in 2006 and has been a resident of Indiana his entire life. Interestingly, according to records, the Carroll County Jail states that Allen used the alias Craig Ross Renfro but no further information about this aspect of the investigation was known at the time of this report, according to The Independent. Along with Ron Logan, police also investigated another man, Keegan Anthony Klein, 27, for the murders. Klein was arrested on charges of child sexual abuse images and child exploitation in 2020, but he was not linked with their deaths. It is not known if Klein knew Allen or if they worked together. Investigators have not released any information about what led them to Allen, nor have they explained any more details about how the girls were murdered.